Uh, he's, he means business. He's serious, you know. It was no no jokes, no laughs, just business. Do you see anything in his eyes? Uh, I don't, we don't we don't look at stuff like that. I can't really tell. Uh, you know, he's he's a world champion, you know, and uh, uh, he believes he's gonna win. So there's nothing really to see or, or tell, you know, just by a quick stare down. What's going to happen with the WBC lightweight title? Do you have an agreement with the WBC? Um, they, they presented a letter. Uh, I think, I think um, well, 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 the, the letter said we have been allowed to take on these other fights, the Broner fight, this one, and they, uh, they're they demanding that we face Linares <laughs> next, immediate. Uh, same thing with Linares. They're um, forcing him to face me next. I'm, I'm up for that. You know, that's what we want. So that's why we think that that fight will happen for sure in the uh, 2018 year, maybe in the summer. At 135? 135. Are you, are you un under, uh, under the understanding that he's going to be separate from Golden Boy after this next fight? No, I've, I've been hearing some rumors, but I, I don't know. I mean, you never know with, with the contracts, with extensions or different terms. So I don't pay attention to that. I think. You know, the good thing is that the WBC is ordering that fight to, to uh, happen next. If he doesn't uh, want to fight for whatever reason, whether it's a promotional issue or something else, then the, the WBC will uh, no longer recognize him as a, as a diamond champion. At that point, I'm going to look forward to, to all the fights, you know. Um, but WBC seems to really want that fight. I want it, he wants it, so I don't think there should be a problem for that fight not happening. So when you say you want it at 35, is it because of the belts? Yes. Okay. I mean, he's willing to fight at 40, but I actually would like to fight him at 35 because the belts are there, the ring knives and titles are there, WBC, WBA title will be on the line, and I think that will, uh, that, that will mean more for, for both of us, especially with... Uh, with the, all the titles being at stake there and uh, to really, you know, claim supremacy of the lightweight division. You know, this is more of why, why I would want that fight after Do you still fight. feel more like a lightweight, like a natural I, I lightweight? I still do, I still do. I still feel that lightweight is a, a more uh, natural fit for me. Um, but I'm taking on, on fight, fights at 140 because they present a, a, the, the challenge, you know, the bigger man. And, and you know, it's it's a world title fight you know, against Nick Nick at 40, so I can, you know, look for that fourth title. Mike, are you looking to, uh, to move back down to 135, but this will be your second fight at 140. Uh, could that affect the time to move back down to 145? Uh, the way you know what, I, I think uh, it's all about having the right diet, the right game plan, you know, work ethic. And I, even though this is my second fight at 140, uh, I don't think it, it's going to affect me when I decide to come back to, to 135. I think I'll be I'll be just fine. I'll be uh, you know well prepared when I do want to come down to 35. So with the right diet, you know you, you really can't go wrong. Now if I really see anything that's gonna affect me in a negative way, then I would probably at that point decide to stay at 140 and maybe invite Leonardo to as well. But as of right now, my first choice would be to fight him at 135.